What's good, YouTube and Twitch? We're live streaming to both right now as a new relinquished Link monster comes out. This is a different kind of blue, and maybe that's why it looks upside down compared to normal. But, uh, Relinquish Anima. This is not an April Fool's joke. This is from Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization, the only place you should have trusted any news from today. And we have... A pretty cool Link monster. It, its restrictions are interesting. It's a Link 1 Dark Spellcaster type uh, effect monster. Attack 0. Link top. So it gives your opponent a Link. So it's meant to be transitional. But uh, like Relinquished, you can only use this card's first effect once per turn. You can target one face-up monster this card points to. Equip that face-up monster to this card. So basically, they have to line something up from your extra monster zone for it to get the effect. Unfortunately, it's not as good as the original. It just doesn't get there. And then the second effect, this card gains attack equal to the equipped monster's attack. Kind of a shell of its former self in a sense. But at the same time, it, it makes zones matter just a little bit more and can be a transitional piece for anything that is a level 1 non-token monster. Now, so you can't just like use Link Rebo and go into this either because of that level restriction. Still an interesting option to have though for going up Link Summoning Chains overall, but the, the token thing really kind of chokes it out and it's a restriction of having to point to it. It has to, uh, has to have its link arrow point to it. It, it. it just isn't the best card in the world. But it's nice to see more legacy support coming Pegasus's way. And uh, should be interesting to see it continue. This is at, It looks like it's out of jump. W jump. JMP. So uh, finally, the Europeans, a card you might not be mad about for not getting for a while. 